Hello again and welcome to another Barbie review. Today I'm doing the Barbie I Can Be a Newborn doc Baby Doctor. I'd like to thank my Aunt Mary for getting this for my birthday. Um, first I'll be reviewing the babies. This is who I call Tiffany because they don't come with names. She has a black, dark brown hair. Curly if you look in the front. She's got brown eyes and peach lips. Orange eyebrows. I like her eyelashes. They are very detailed. And the ears. We have her diaper. It's pink to show she's a girl. If you want to take a look at that. The fingers and toes are very detailed. Like a little baby's hand, should I say. Um, the blanket. It's like a star striped with teal and mint and a little pink, maybe a little white. And you can put it on. And they come with two baby caps to put on them. They had Velcros, but they were very, very lame and they fell off. So, there we go. That's how she looks with it. Put her in the cradle. Next we have what I, who I call Timothy. Same exact blanket, only this has a rubber band so that you can attach it to the Barbie's arm. I'm not going to demonstrate it because it takes a lot of time. Because the baby falls out of the blanket. Um, he has blue eyes and peach lips and more of a brown eyebrows, different lips as usual, blondish light brown hair, and to show he's a boy, sorry, blue diaper. Um, I guess I'll get on to the main part of the set now. Um, it has great detail on the curtain, it's supposed to be a window side. So, and there's a m mobile right here. The star comes off like that. If you don't want a mobile, but the charms come off, but they come off very easily. See? Spin it lightly. Spin it way too fast. It is going to collapse, and I'll just get onto the charms, and there was my cat, just bumped. Crescent moon, to represent, it's nighttime. A uh, one yellow sleepy time cloud with a star on it, if you can see that. And then, a star that has an aligned with the star. It's cool. Have hooks. You might want to rubber band them because it's not very cool. There's little bows on the curtains and as usual, Barbie right, right here. Um, if you buy this set, there is a window right there to show that it's nighttime for the babies. And um, I could demonstrate this without killing the doll. Okay, I'll get on to that later. Um, there's cups, sippy cups, as I call them. Technically bottles. Not too detailed, not over detailed. I like simple. Just keep it simple. And same with the yellow and green. I call this Huggies. Because some Huggies do show a baby's butt of a diaper. And um, you have a nice actual, so you can buy it at the store, a little bar and a baby smiley face. Very, very detailed at the top. No diapers in it, which that's a little stupid. Why make it hollow so you can just wiggle your pinky finger in there and then not make it solid. Okay, I'll get onto the doll now. 
and then I'll show you more about this in a second. The doll, this comes with it. It's a sample stethoscope. It doesn't stick very well, see? Unless you put it in between the shirt. See? It falls off. Um, you look on her back. Lift up her bony tail. Oh no. There's a switch. You see the switch? If you can see, switch controls rocking up the baby. It only goes down because if you try and put it up, it doesn't work. Just to rock the baby, not to kill the baby. On her outfit, you can see this clearly Dr. Barbie. Um, sparkling blue eyes blonde hair, just like my cooking doll, which I will get into, of course, later. She has eyeshadow right next to her eyebrows. I don't know if you can see it in the lighting, but she does. Sparkly blue tank top under. She can fit in regular Barbie's clothes, but you can't fit her in her clothes. It's a dress, and there's a pocket that you can actually stick your finger into. Her shoes are so detailed. It's like Oh my gosh, just weird. And lip shade is a nice purple, glossy purple, as usual. They give her gloss. But her hair is off to the side most of the time. It's just, uh, I took it out to see how it looks. It looks pretty nice. You just keep on brushing it. And then I got sick of it and put it back in the ponytail. Because it was lazy. Um, now I can get this after I move all my accessories over. If you want to demonstrate with the baby, if you see this, push it forward, it rocks the baby. I also want to get into it's like wheels, sort of. They try to make it look like it has wheels on the back. There's a little place there so you can put the diaper and bottles and stuff like that. I do not have the laundry basket, but I will describe it because my little brother got a hold of it. It is um, uh, a chestnut, just about a chestnut brown, kind of like this color brown. And in the front of the top is a pink basket or pink bow and it looks amazingly detailed just like wicker and then you could actually put clothes in it so cool and um i'll move on to the rocking chair and it actually rocks if you can see very well the wires blocking very 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 detailed they made a little sagging bow because some actual rocking chairs have it it's also detailed here. I love how they tried to inc include the screw in the leg of a chair. It's like, it's how smooth it is at the bottom. So you can just rock it gently. I also have um, a layer for the babies. doesn't go all the way to the numbers shown. It might be a little blurry, sorry baby in. She has this weight. Not actually. This thing weighs like two, 10 grams. It's a little whatever that bird is that carries the child in a blanket. Here's the blanket story. Just for weighing. I have another baby and I use it to sleep there. Whoa. The star as you see right here. Almost a perfect match. Whoa. Don't fall, please. And, um, I have one last thing if you want to just be cheap. I got this outfit at Ollie's for, like, five bucks. It's a nurse outfit. It's for my Aunt Jamie for Christmas. Thank you, Aunt Jamie. Thank you, Aunt Mary. So, um, that's pretty detailed. 
and um, flowers and little springs, like jumping springs, and, like silk pants. Well, that's all I've got, just about. I don't think I have to cover anything else. I would recommend buying this set. I have no dislikes. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you my laundry basket, but that'll happen another time. So, again, another shout out to Aunt Mary, Aunt Jamie, technically Aunt Sam too. I'm just fine and always near you. Well, that's all I've got, so see ya maybe next week. Bye.